Yesterday I made a video about uh, the two aliens unveiled in Mexico. I mean, it could, they could, it could be very well be a hoax. That's cool. Or it could be real. It doesn't change my mind that I think it's entirely possible that the government has lied to us and they know more than we know. And and I think it's I think it's kind of arrogant to think that we're just like the supreme most intelligent creation that could let's just say God. Let's just say like from the Christian version, like God it went down exactly the Bible, way the Bible says, but it's just like, wouldn't God want to see more simulations of humans or intelligent beings? I just think that um, um, it's entirely possible that there is definitely uh, intelligent beings out there. Um, and... You know, I still believe that like, dude, you look at the, look at the, the, the pyramids on multiple continents, you know, when you have that type of, uh, technology going from continent to continent when people really couldn't move around that well back then to have that type of technology, um, to make pyramids. I just think that there's more going on. Plus, there's like hieroglyphs that uh, show like spaceships and even I think I seen one with like a helicopter. Um, so uh, it's just I don't know. I still think that I believe that they're prob they're, that that's probably real, and if it's a hoax. The hoax, but I still believe that there's a very possible. There's too many people that say that there's what their experiences and even my experience of me and my buddy seeing a UFO or something just like in the it was in the broad daylight, just looking up and then it was going slow and also phew, fucking gone. It was it was really high up in the sky. Definitely was not a satellite. And this was like uh, late 90s, early 2000s. So like, it, it's possible it could, have, it could be human. And then we just don't know the technology that they have, you know. I remember seeing uh, the stealth fighter. I think it was, yeah, it was a stealth fighter before it was unveiled. When I lived in Arizona when I was a kid, I was in the... I was playing, we lived in the desert, and um, I, I, I just seen it fl flew past me, and we didn't even know about that until, what was it, 1991, but I was like eight at the time when I seen this, so, I mean, who knows, but I, I just, it's just so crazy, like, the, the technology that's evolved, and how quickly it's evolved, and um, just to think that we're the only intelligent beings that could ever exist in this vastive, vastive universe that we live in. It's just, and we don't even know what's in the ocean. Um, what crazy thing is. I was talking about uh, one of the, uh, I'm in the video talking about one of the InfoWars people on TikTok and how he's got sent to prison. But I didn't see nothing about being violent. But they said they, they, they removed it on community uh, guidelines. They took it down really quick. They said that the organization was hateful and the people in the organization was hateful and promoted violence. And it's just kind of funny how China took that down so quick. 
how when you try to put hashtag NFL Wars or Alex Jones, you can't find it. Why don't they want us to see that? You know, um, I would think that uh, China would want people's confused. Like, even if, like, even if, let's just say, hypothetically, like, everything that Alex Jones was a conspiracy theory, which it's not, hypothetically, it was, I'm not going to say that they get everything 100% correct, um, but they, they get, a, I think they get a lot of stuff correct. Even if it was all you know, fake and all that. Like, wouldn't they want the American people confused anyway? It's just, I think there's a lot of truths that the, that the China government that they don't want us to know. Um, that's why they push the LGBT stuff and they want us, um, they just don't want us to know the truth about things. It's kind of crazy to me. Um, Troy Francis, I'm going to talk about this guy a little bit more too. Um, I was on his, he, he's showing up on my feed on X now and <laughs> this guy is, he, he, he was like talking about how cocaine's good. <laughs> like dude, this dude's a drug addict, man. Like he's talking about doing a hardcore drug and how it's it's cool. And then he's up on there calling pe like <clears throat> calling average people dog shit. <laughs> like the arrogance, man. The arrogance. I can't I can't deal with that, man. I, I I I don't give a shit if the dude is uh red pilled, awake, understands female nature. Like this guy's a piece of shit, man. He really is. He just uses people for uh, their money and you know like I said dude <laughs> for the it is it is it is uh possible for an average person or a below average person man to be become a high value man <laughs> it could take a whole lifetime it really could um to accomplish and what for what why I mean, to get some woman that doesn't really, like, okay, we all know that women are attracted to you by, based off of what you can do for them. But, there are women that basically, the only reason they even have anything to do with you is because of how much money you make. And how much you can provide for them. So you're just getting somebody, yeah, they look good. They've probably been passed around. And you can say, well, a lot of you know, you just have to kind of accept that nowadays that a lot of women have been passed around. Okay. But it's just the extreme attitude that a lot of these women that you, you know, like, yeah, you, you see them like the top flight. Like you see the girls on Fresh and Fit, like those type of girls, man. Um, yeah, they look extremely good, right? Very attractive. But like they're just not good people. Like they're just they're just not good people. They only care about material things. Um, they got extreme attitudes. They really don't have. Like, I don't I don't need a partner or a woman with like in my life like a companion that is interested in all the things I'm at, and we have to have deep conversations, but. I need to have somebody that I can at least have some type of intelligence, uh, just a little bit at least. So, you know, I can at least, at least joke with her. Um, these, these, those, those females that just, all they care about is their looks and, and vanity and, and material stuff like. That's just not the type of woman I want to be around. Like I said, even if, hypothetically, even if I was like a high value man, hypothetically, if I was Andrew Tate, you know, or any of these, I don't want to be around women like that. I don't care how good they look, man. I really don't. I, I wouldn't, 
I wouldn't give them the time of day, man. Um, no, I know. Like, well, they don't, well, they've been saying on, on Twitter, like, uh, uh, it's coping. It's coping. Like, yeah, it's cool. I'm sure it's really fun. I'm sure that these women are really good in bed. I'm sure, you know, they're obviously appealing to look at. But, you know, when they got the little attitude and you got to deal with that, or like, oh, just, you know, <laughs> dude, I, I'm not, dude, I, I don't think it's anything to brag about to be like, you've, you've been with a lot of women. I really don't. Like, I've had, I've been with a bunch of women. I've chased women. I've had a bunch of women. The most I've had was 10 different women who were basically sex buddies at one time. And that's awesome. That's just disgusting. It really is. It's nothing to brag about. Um, and, and it's like... It's fun for a little while. I'm not going to lie. It's fun for a little while, of course. You know, the chase, the throw. But then it just gets fucking old, man. Like, that existence. Like, if your whole life is just... Like, okay. It, 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 like, if you're struggling to get a girl. And, and, and there's a lot of scarcity in your life. Um, that, that, those people are very appealing. And, they, and they, they feed off of that. But they don't tell you that it gets old. And then it sounds weird. Oh, it gets old. Well, you're, you're with all these. You're you're always with the new girl, and you know how how can that get? Because it's just like at some point, it's just like like I said, it's like a new car. Man, new cars. When you first get a new car, you get a, like a car you really like. Let's just say it's a cool truck or sports car or something like that, right? And you're like, yeah, I like it, and it's fun. Dude, after a few months, man, that wears off. So it's just like, after a little while of that lifestyle, it's kind of like, it's so hollow. It's such a hollow existence. There's probably a lot of females that feel like that, too, that sleep around a lot. It just probably feels like, they feel like so hollow. Like, it's cool in the moment. Like, it feels good in the moment. But it's just like, what am I doing? <laughs> it's just, it just gets old. That's what I'm saying. It just it just gets old, and they don't talk about that. And, and you're putting yourself at high risk too, man. You're putting yourself at high risk. Like when when I thought I caught HIV, like obviously, if I thought I had HIV, I wouldn't be sleeping with anybody but you know i didn't know i had so so if anyone doesn't know um i, I started going to the plasma center to donate some of my plasma and they said i had hiv well i was with somebody that i trusted they trusted me and we were doing things unprotected um and I really, really care about that person. And um, I thought I possibly gave her that. Turns out it was a false test. You know, I, I felt so good about I felt so good when I found out that I went to the doctor, got the test, I did a home test. Negative, negative. But that, man, I can't imagine. Like, that, that made me feel so crappy. Like, somebody i really really cared about and that's the last thing on earth i wanted to do you possibly ruining their life it's like me you know like like i look at my life like i'm like a fucking 90 year old man like my purpose is is pretty much almost over like i've had my kids my kids are raised you know i've had a i've had a good run and i'm not like saying that i'm like thinking about self-deletion i'm not i'm not it's just like i'm not excited about i'm old man like i've i've experienced a lot of things i haven't experienced everything but it's just it's just like i'm 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 pretty much just existing you know i'm not really existing i'm still contributing and stuff to community and 
you know, working and stuff like that. So it's like I'm not just really existing. Um, and my kids still do rely on me to some extent. But it's not like it was when they were young. They're coming more and more independent. Uh, and, you know, I don't have a wife. And it's, it's very, very soon just going to be just me. And, um, so it's like, what is there to look forward to? You know, it just, oh, hedonism. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just like, I've had, I've had a good run. So, um, that, that's where that mentality comes from, but it's just, you know, whatever, if, I, I want good things. I want uh, good experiences for the rest of my life. Um, I want to enjoy the rest of my life. And I'm not saying I don't want to do that. But, like, what I'm saying is if I would have caught it, right, and, like, my life is ruined, that's one thing, man. You know, that's one thing, but like just ruining somebody else's, even if I don't care about them, like to think that I like, pass that on to somebody else, even if it's not a death sentence, but it is because you have to rely on some type of health care to keep living. And it's, it's, uh, even if you, even if you, um, protect yourself if you have HIV as a condom could break and you could pass it on to somebody else you might not even know you have it so it's just like you know you get a vice set to me like these guys oh get a vice but it's just like dude you can still get uh, herpes you can still get STDs and, and pass them on to other people and ruin their life <clears throat> you know if you start dating someone and you find out that they have the herp or HIV, you're not gonna be like really looking at them the same. You're not gonna wanna probably even talk to them anymore. Um, no one wants that. There's only like people like come out like, I wanna get HIV, I wanna get the herb, and then they brag about it. That's like, you don't want that. So to engage in that lifestyle, uh, oh, oh, oh. then they call me a drag colony. <laughs> Okay, dude. You know, you know, you know. Another thing too, I was thinking about. No, it's like I, my message is pretty solid, man. I think that my message is pretty good. I think that my message overall is for the good of humanity. And it's just kind of funny to me that you know I've, I hear stuff like, "Well, if you if you have knowledge, you should spread it. You should talk about it." But it's, it's just kind of funny, like, you know, God in the universe, well, I have a pretty solid message, and if you want me to, to, to spread it to other people, why am I continuously, you know, getting hit on my platforms, dethrottled, um, <laughs> obviously, like, I think, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, like, uh, it's it just kind of funny to me, you know, like, that, uh, it, my, <laughs> in my platforms continue to not be able to grow from a, it's like, what's the point? Like, obviously you don't want good to be spread if, if there is a God or the universe and it is for the goodness. Uh, evil people want debauchery and spread. And you know, like Troy Francis, I mean, that guy's pretty evil. I mean, I, it's one thing to understand, like teach men about female nature and you know, how to attract the opposite sex. 
but he but to do it in a malicious manner like that is just reprehensible you know like <clears throat> to not care about the community like to not care about society to, to better society um, it's just kind of it's like that's that's who you dude, when you when you put down average people that's who you rely on like that's exactly who you rely on to exist um, and, and, and enjoy your luxuries and then like you want to shame average people and put them down uh, it's like where's your humility where's your humbleness um, all they see is arrogance and, and sometimes I put down people for you know I, sh it's, I shouldn't call people stupid and, and when I do it's just like I don't think that like like the communist like I like the average communist I don't think that they're stupid overall I don't think that they're like knuckle dragging cavemen with like 50 IQ I think that a lot of people have intel average intelligence they're not like slow intelligence like mentally challenged or nothing like that I just think that they're extremely ignorant in their beliefs and understanding human nature and hit history um, to try to bring back and relive past mistakes is just absurd to me uh, like, like I think that there's a big problem with capitalism right now. I do. Um, I think that things have been monopolized. I think that you see CEOs making tons of money, um, 400 more times than uh, the the lowest workers. I think that's a problem. Um, uh, seeing like CEOs say, "Oh, we and like the Fed, we need to have high unemployment. We need to so people start, you know, are like." desperate and, and and like just to have power over people instead of people having power over like <laughs> that's what they want it's just power and it's the same thing as is the same type of thing centralized power is like as a dictator uh when they really don't have much value, like an average CEO, like what, what value do they have? What, what, what are they doing? Like one of these big companies, like are they are they producing anything? Like they're not producing nothing. Um, you know they might have initially invested a lot in their time in the company, and but you get to a point where you don't really. You're not, you're just pretty much a parasite. You're worthless. Um, and I think that becomes a problem. But to, to, to try to solve the problem with communism, it's like, dude, you've learned nothing from the past. Socialism, the Nazis were socialist. Uh, What's happening in China is currently some type of a socialism, communist. It's not really con it's a type of communism, socialism. Uh, it's, it's slightly capitalist. But you see, like it, it promotes like a density of death, and and to say that like capitalism hasn't hurt anybody, it has. It has. Uh, my, my, my thing with capitalism is you just need a bunch of small businesses um, that's the real power is that's when it works really well when you have a bunch of small businesses and the low workers actually have some type of uh, a vested stake in the company they're actually when, when you start a small business and you, and you start a new product man you're proud of it but when you when you're in those like huge monopolized company and you just become another cog in the wheel you don't feel any value you feel just like you're a rented throwaway worker that can be replaced at any time 
So, that's why I think that there should be a limit to how much power, how much employees a company can have. And once you get to a certain point, you got to start contracting other other people to either create the product or fix stuff or whatever. Um, and on for less government. So government just gets in the way and they screw things up. That's all they do. Look at the student debt loan debacle that's happening. And <laughs> their answer is just to print money and throw money at it and then not do away with it. But continue the problem just like um pr print more money so what happens is the the interest on our national debt because that printed money goes against the national debt it's just like your credit card you keep on spending more money on your credit card that your monthly interest payment goes up well, that's what happens to national debt. I think it's about one trillion because a year because they've up the the interest like the seven percent of the Fed, and then, and then we get hammered twice because of inflation. So, at some point, um, the interest on the national debt will become unsustainable. So they'll have to up the taxes immensely. <laughs> 